Jay Gurudev, my name is Kiran. I grew up in Germany and have been living in Norway now for many years. I met Guruji a few days before I turned 25, back in September 1987. In those days, Guruji, he would conduct all the courses all by himself. He didn't have any teachers yet. And I remember one year later, we met him in Switzerland for uh, a course. It was a small course, intimate setting, small group of people. And after the course was finished, most people, they left, they went back home. And it was only a few of us, maybe a handful of us who stayed back. And in the late afternoon, early evening, Guruji said, let's go for a walk. Let's go down to the lake, Lake Constance, Bodensee. So we, we walked to the lake and I remember arriving at the shore and Guruji was taking off his chapels and he stepped into the water and he walked into the water, lifting up his dhoti until he was like knee deep in the water. And I remember it was a beautiful atmosphere. It was like an Indian summer, late afternoon sun. It was a peaceful, serene atmosphere. And Guruji was standing there and we were just standing behind watching and he started chanting. And as he started chanting, there were two swans in the distance that we noticed that turned around and started moving towards him. And it looked like as if they were they were pulled by a magnet and they were coming closer and closer and I remember they they stopped in short distance away from him, maybe like five meters away. And then both at the same time, simultaneously, they opened their wings and they like stood in the water with their wings spread apart as if they were saluting Gurdjie. And it was like a totally magical moment that I will never forget. And then they, they folded their wings again and they turned around and then they swam back into the, onto the lake. When we walked back together, Guruji said that he was reciting certain passages of the Vedas that were related to birds. And that unforgettable moment was just one moment of so many where Guruji, he, it's like opening a window, giving us a glimpse of a different reality, a glimpse of that one consciousness that is underlying all names and forms. I wish I could have recorded it for you, but you know, it's so long ago, we didn't have anything to record within those days.